The human skeleton of an adult consists of around 206 to 208 bones depending on the counting of the sternum which may be alternatively be included as the manubrium body of sternum and the gyphoid process. It is composed of 270 bones at birth but later decreased to 80 bone in axial skeleton and 126 bone in appendicular skeleton. Many more accessory bones such as Sismoid bones are not included in this count. Hello viewers, myself Shuman. Welcome to my channel Digital Clinic, the Shuman Studio. This topic is very important to make basic knowledge of skeletal system and the distribution of bone of human body. After watching this video, the osteology subject will automatically become loving topic. So keep watching the entire video. Bone is the substance that forms the skeleton of the body. It is composed chiefly calcium phosphate and calcium carbonate. It is also serves a storage area of calcium, playing a large role in calcium balance in the blood. The skeletal system includes the bone of the skeleton and the cartilage, joint, ligament and other connective tissues that stabilize or connect them. This system has five primary functions. Number 1. Shape and support. Number 2. Movement. Number 3. Protection. 4. Blood cell production. And 5. Storage. Today I am going to discussion about distribution of bone. You can also say total calculation of 206 bone of human body. Now let's start. We all know that there are 206 bone present in our body. Out of this 206 bone, 80 bone forms axial skeleton and 126 bone form appendicular skeleton. The axial skeleton consists of skull, vertebral column and rib cage. Skull includes 29 bones. Out of this 29 bones, one is hyoid bone. Vertebral column consists of 26 bone. Rib cage includes 25 bones. Out of these 25 bones, 24 bones are ribs and one is sternum. We know that skull consists of 29 bones and it is divided into three parts. The upper part of skull is called cranium, which includes 8 bones. The lower part of skull is called face. It is consists of 14 bones which are called facial bones and there are 7 bones which are associated with skull. Out of these 7 bones, 6 are air ossicle and 1 is hyoid bone. Cranial bones. Cranium includes 8 bones which are 1 frontal bone, 2 parietal bones, 2 temporal bones, 1 occipital bone, 1 ethmoid bone and 1 sphenoid bone. After the cranial bones, now I will deal with facial bones. Total number of facial bones in human body is 14. These 14 facial bones are mandible 1, maxilla 2, lacrimal bone 2, 2 zygomatic bones, palatine bone 2, inferior nasal conchi 2, vomer 1 and nasal bones 2. And there are 7 bones which are associated with the skull. Out of these 7 bones, 6 are auditory ossicle or middle ear bone and one is hyoid bone. The auditory ossicle are malleus, incus and steps. One ear contains 3 bones, so both ear 3 into 2 equals to 6 middle ear bones. The hyoid bone is a horseshoeped bone situated at the root of the tongue in the front of neck and between the lower jaw and the largest cartilage of the larynx or voice box. The primary function of the hyoid bone is to serve as an anchoring structure of the tongue. It has no articulation with other bones. So this is the distribution of bone in skull region. After discussing the bones of the skull, now coming to the vertebral column or spine. In adult, there are having 26 bone in the spine, whereas child can have 33 bones. The 26 vertebra comprise 7 cervical vertebra, 12 thoracic vertebra, 
five lumbar vertebra, one sacral vertebra, and one coccygeal vertebra. After the vertebral column, now we can discuss with the rib cage. In rib cage, twenty-five bones are present in human body. Out of these twenty-five bones, twenty-four bones are ribs, and one is sternum. Sternum is composed of three parts: manubrium, body, and gyphoid process. The twenty-four ribs comprise fourteen true ribs, six false ribs, and four floating ribs. The sternum is also called breastbone. Now we will discuss about appendicular skeleton. Total number of bone in the appendicular skeleton is one hundred and twenty-six. The one hundred and twenty-six appendicular bones are made up of sixty-four bones in the upper extremities and sixty-two bones in the lower extremities. The upper extremities or upper limbs consist of arms, wrist, and hands, and the lower extremities or lower limbs consist of legs, ankles, and feet. The upper extremity or upper limbs comprise four bone in pectoral girdle. and in these four bones two are clavicle and two are scapula in the brachium or arm region two humerus bone are present the antibrachium region or forearm consist of two radius and two ulna bones in the hands or manus region includes 16 carpal bone 10 metacarpal bone and 28 phalanges the total number of bones in one arm is 32 Show the both arms. The total number of bones is thirty-two into two equals to sixty-four. The lower extremity consists of sixty-two bones. Out of these sixty-two bones, two hip bones present in the pelvic region. It is also called innominate bones. Now we can discuss with other sixty bone of the lower extremity. The first one is. Two femur bone in the thigh region. Second is two patella in the knee region. It is also called knee cap. Two tibia and two fibula are present in the leg region. And finally, the foot region consists of fourteen tarsal bone, ten metatarsal bone, and twenty-eight phalanges. Excluding the pelvic bone, each leg contains thirty bones. So the total number of bones in both leg are. 30 into 2 equals to 60 bones this was the basic scenario of the distribution of 206 bone in the human body this topic is very important to enhance your knowledge if you think this video is informative then make sure to like comment and share this video press the bell icon on your youtube app and never miss another update thank you for watching this video digital clinic the showman studio